Gone are the days when actors, musicians, and athletes were just that. Now, most of our favorite celebs are likely to have side gigs, but in their case, these are multi-million dollar business empires. And when it comes to celebrities, Snoop Dogg is one who keeps reinventing himself and remains the epitome of cool. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how he's launched a brand new cereal. And it's called Snoop Loops, of course. It's just such a natural fit given how well it rhymes. It's going to be a brightly colored marshmallow filled cereal, kind of like Fruit Loops, but better and more wholesome. The news came from his business partner and fellow rapper Master P, who posted on Instagram claiming that the Loops would have more corn and marshmallows, and basically that they would be better than all other cereals on the market. The mascot for the breakfast food is a cartoon dog, which makes complete sense, but you won't instantly make the connection with the rapper when you see it. It will be produced through his label, Brodus Foods. Snoop's real name is Calvin Brodus, if you didn't know. This won't be his first foray into food, especially breakfast food, but we'll have more on that later. Meanwhile, what does Snoop himself have to say about the cereal? The rapper reposted Master P's Insta post, but he is yet to comment on the cereal brand itself. And knowing Snoop, it's going to be a pretty epic launch, especially when the cereal hits stores. We're pretty sure that will happen soon, but the brand's website did have some information about the latest addition to his breakfast line. The cereal will be available at all major grocery stores through Brodus Foods. It will also be available to buy online at snoopsloops.com. Going by the Snoops Loops website, a part of the sales made by the food brand will be donated to a charity combating homelessness. It's called Door of Hope, and it looks to end the problem at a systematic level as opposed to just providing food and shelter. It's a Christian charity based in Portland, Oregon. According to the packaging, the breakfast favorite is a multi-grain, gluten-free cereal. So it's healthier, but with more marshmallows, we'll take it. But it's not the first time that he's ventured into the food and beverage space. The 17-time Grammy-nominated artist is fairly experienced in the industry. He previously partnered with the fast food giant Dunkin' Donuts. It was for a plant-based breakfast sandwich called Beyond D-O-double-G. It featured a meat alternative patty with egg and cheese on a sliced glazed donut. While the plant-based patty is vegan friendly, the sandwich wasn't for vegans. And it seems like the rap mogul prefers healthier snacks. He's investing in a healthier version of pork rinds with pig out pigless pork rinds. Made by Outstanding Foods, the product is a vegan version of the traditional fried snack made from pea protein. And if you're wondering, they're available original, nacho cheese, hella hot, and Texas barbecue flavors. He also partnered with an Australian wine brand called 19 Crimes. It has a range of wines that feature the convicts who built the country. Snoop's debut wine is the Snoop Cali Red and will be the brand's first California brand. Of course, it's got the infamous rapper's face on the label. It's a bold red blend with dark fruit flavors like cherry and raspberry and vanilla notes too. And he also owns his very own food products company, Brodus Foods. No doubt, the California rapper's repertoire exists far beyond the music industry. He's dabbled in a lot of businesses, but it seems that food and beverage is where his heart lies. The company's chief operating officer is Master P, whose real name is Percy. The company, Brodus Foods, already has a breakfast range called Snoop Mama. It's inspired by his mother's legacy. It's a family-owned company that's more than about just selling food products. It was basically founded to pay tribute to and continue his mother's love for cooking, and more importantly, for feeding families in the community. The values of giving back, hard work, and integrity are what drives the company. The Snoop Mama breakfast line includes products such as a pancake mix, maple syrup, grits, and oatmeal. So wholesome. The Snoop Loops are not part of this line though, probably because Mama preferred to serve up a much healthier breakfast than just cereal. And how could we not talk about the gin and juice connection? The prolific rapper wrote his hit song in the early 90s. It was an instant hit, connecting with the audiences about just being real and having a good time. In fact, it became a global hit, hitting number one on the Billboard Hot 100s chart.
chart, and according to the Indago website, the artist has always wanted to create his own spirits brand, so he did. This time, he remixed seven botanicals and natural fruit flavors to create this delicious gin. And get this, it's gluten-free, sugar-free, and low-calorie. Meanwhile, our favorite rapper also had a TV show throwing dinner parties with his BFF Martha Stewart. The VH1 series had the duo hosting their celebrity friends for food, drinks, and unscripted conversations. It really brought together America's fascination with food, entertainment, and celebrities. And best of all, it was just watching the friendship between the pair that seemed so unlikely. The dinner party was such a trip, hosting guests such as RuPaul, DJ Khaled, Kelly Rowland, and so many more. The show was called Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner, in case you want to check it out. In fact, just a couple of days ago, he came to support the opening of Stewart's new restaurant. The Bedford by Martha Stewart is located on the Las Vegas Strip. And speaking of new restaurants, Snoop Dogg is opening an NFT-themed dessert restaurant. It's going to be called Dr. Bombay's Sweet Exploration after the rapper's Bored Ape Yacht Club. He's doing this in partnership with a startup called Food Fighters Universe, and it's going to be an immersive retail dessert experience. His son, Cordell Brodus, will also be joining him on the project. But Snoop and Master P aren't the only rappers in the food and beverage business. Considered one of the greatest rappers of all time and a sharp business, businessman, Jay-Z owns the 4040 Club in the heart of Manhattan's Flatiron District. It's an all-American sports bar and lounge that pays tribute to the MLB's elite 4040 Club, a group of baseball players who hit 40 home runs and stole 40 bases in a single season, including Barry Bonds and Alex Rodriguez. And then there's Rick Ross, who can't stop rapping about this food business. Talk about content integration, or maybe the wings are just that good good. The rapper owns several Wingstop restaurants, and by several, we mean more than two dozen. Styles P was part of The Locks, one of the most notorious rap groups out there. But after being incarcerated in 2003, he decided to change his life around. He launched Juices for Life, a dietary solution aimed at a healthy plant-based lifestyle. His group member Jadakiss also invested in it. These are just a few of the rappers doing great business in the food industry industry. But not gonna lie, nothing's gonna feel as cool as having some Snoop Dogg cereal for breakfast. And now, let's take a look at what some of our favorite rappers are up to. First off, Swizz Beats and Timbaland have sued Triller for $28 million. The two founded the popular Versus Virtual Rap Battle series in 2020. Less than a year later, they sold it to Triller, which is a short-form music video app. They received equity in the company that would be shared among the artists featured on the app, including 2 Chains, Gucci Mane, and Rick Ross. It seems that the company failed to pay them a large sum in January 2022, but settled by agreeing to pay them $9 million each, and then a million per month for the next few months. But so far, none of these payments have been received. Meanwhile, Megan Thee Stallion paid Future an insane amount of money to rap a single verse. She paid the 38-year-old rapper a cool $250,000 to have him feature on one of the songs from her latest album, Traumazine. The song in question is Pressurelicious. After recording it, she felt that the particular track really just needed Future on it. Although she was nervous about reaching out to him, she did anyway, and met the amount he asked for. Sounds like a win for everyone involved, including the fans. And lastly, ASAP Rocky has been charged with a Hollywood shooting. The rapper was charged with assault and accused of firing a handgun toward towards a former friend back in November, prosecutors said. There are two counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm. The 33-year-old, whose real name is Rakeem Myers, fired the shots after a heated discussion with the said friend on November 6th of last year. There was no mention made of exactly who was shot. Apparently, one of the bullets grazed the victim's arm and could have ended in tragedy. That's a wrap for this video. Will you be trying Snoop Loops once they hit the aisles? Let us know in the comments below below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!